Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another episode of That's Life with me, your host, Brett. Today is a Fitness Friday, and, uh, you know, I this is necessary, absolutely. I mean, see this? It's gotta go. These gotta go. These gotta go. This gotta go. Tush. Well, that's okay. But uh, the rest has got to go. Uh, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be updating you guys with my fitness journey. And that's just going to happen on Fridays. Of course, I'm working out. Damn it! All right, I promise that's the last curse word in this episode. Yeah, sorry. Cats. I got, yeah, lock the little buddy up for now. Anyway, going to keep you uh, updated on my fitness journey. Started a couple years ago. Started going my favorite... By far, favorite gym of all time. It's called Live Athletic here in Gainesville, Florida. And, uh, you know, this time last year I was looking beastly. I was doing fantastic. And uh, just over the past couple months I've kind of let it go a bit. And uh, here I am with a little bit of a tumbly. I'm planning on getting back to where I was because, you know, in, in my own experience, I'm not saying this is something that like, oh, everybody's happy if they're happy. Well, I was a lot happier when I was in a lot better shape. So... I'm getting back to that point, and that's why this year, you know, like, no sodas, uh, no fast food. I'm only doing pizza once a month, and got back from workout just a little bit ago, and, you know, we were doing an AMRAP when I was about three rounds behind everybody else, but, you know, the point of this isn't to be in the lead, it's just to get better. It's to show up, push yourself, but not so hard that you hurt yourself. Granted, I was still three rounds behind everyone, so I was just like, man, I've really dropped back. So... Like I said, just got back from a workout. My milk that was already open froze in the back of the fridge, so uh, I'm gonna place that near the front so it thaws. So luckily I got another one. I'm just doing a protein shake, you know. I like protein shakes. Something about them helps me set up my day. Whoa, okay. Helps me set up my day right. And uh, yeah, I got a good combo here. I've got some vanilla protein and I've got some chocolate peanut butter powder that I'm gonna put in this. Now this is the best whole milk in the world. It's a... Uh, it's a whole milk where you can actually see the, the cream at the top. You actually have to shake it up and, you know, poke the cream down. Like, here we go. There's a nice plug of cream. And, oh, yeah. Look at that. That is that is just pure cream. Mmm. It's almost like mozzarella. So I'm going to give this a shake. This is almost a workout on its own. Don't forget shake weight. So lucky for me, we're going to be starting off the year with a testing week next week at my gym, which means I get to basically start you guys off on my fitness journey with uh, with my starting numbers, saying, hey, here's where I'm at with each of these movements, and then we get to progress along together to see how well I do, see how much I increase my ability to, to do all of them, which is really cool. But uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to making some real good gains here. And, uh, you know, it's a CrossFit gym. It's a lot of fun if you've never done it before. You know, a lot of people think CrossFit, they're just like, they either put the stigma of, oh, you like to tell everybody you do CrossFit, or the other stigma of, oh, that's super hardcore. Like, that's run, 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 nonstop, nonstop, go, 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 whatever. And really, anybody can do it. Especially when you've got the right coaches, you know, and that's one thing. Yeah, I'm putting a little bit of chocolate syrup in here. But uh, but when you got the right coaches, which they definitely have at Live, they, they make sure to take care of you uh, so that you don't hurt yourself, so that you don't push yourself too far. They keep you in mind, and they adjust the workouts if there's anything that you can't do, you know. Like, if you're not good at a certain movement or a certain movement, uh, is hard on your knees or your back or anything like that they take you into account and they um, they adjust it for you so that you can do something else that will still get you a good workout and it'll put you in the right direction toward being able to do those movements um, which is really cool so anyway we had a, a good workout today we started off it was interesting we had kettlebells where we held one in the front rack and one up in the air and then we got to this you know about 25 yards we switched Walked another 25 back to gym. Uh, and we did that for eight minutes, trading off between partners. 
and then our part B was an AMRAP of 15 wall balls, uh, 20 sit-ups, and 45 double unders with a jump rope, which um, I actually hit about 12 double unders in a row today, knocked them out, that was really cool, I haven't done that in, I don't know how long, I haven't even done an actual double under, I don't know how long, but anyway, got them knocked out, and I, I went through uh, four rounds plus 25, 23 reps, four rounds, 23 reps, we had 18 minutes, um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to being able to do a lot more <laughs> in the upcoming future, um, but in the meantime, testing week next week, you guys make sure you keep up with this, and I'll keep up with you as well, I look forward to uh, writing some numbers, and, uh, and breaking those numbers as time goes on, until next time, my shake's ready, I'm going to shake it. I'll see you guys uh, Monday or Tuesday. It depends on when it gets posted. But I'll see you with the musical Monday post. And until then, 